I've done a combination of about really just two things and it seems to have helped my switching a great deal running it at 150 watts with the fan going and it's just barely getting warm after a while I know that means that I can run it without the fan for a pretty good amount of time whoever came up with the idea of having the little you know rounded nut there um, was a pretty good idea but you can see this one's getting sort of annihilated but it keeps it from getting red hot when i try to use a screw of some kind it will eventually get red hot and uh, it starts to break down and disintegrate but yeah this little stainless steel guy i believe it's stainless steel uh it's held up pretty good and i don't actually have a little glass chunk on there now but from time to time i don't know if it's burning little pieces of what it melted off from before if it's just burning the actual metal down I'm gonna run this for a little while to see if I can bring it up to close to where it was before without the glass and uh, just see how about how long I can run it without the fan going with a heat sink of this size with it switching the way it is now so I'm gonna cut it on alright so what I'm gonna do with as per usual so that's a little under three amps I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more and then, uh, crank the voltage up here I'll put it at about 40 and then uh, I'm just gonna crank the gate down slightly just so just to the point where I see it start to sort of diminish the flame and I went too far so let me do that again yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't back the pot down too much, obviously, or it'll. Uh, you know, as I've talked about before, it might kick out oscillation. So I'm just going to cut it back down very slightly. Let's leave it like that, and then I'll cut it back up to uh, 40. So I'm going to let it run at about, you know, about 130 watts or so. With the flame that is, if I count. The very little wick of it coming out the top, that's about two inches right there. Just barely. So with uh, with the gla with some glass burning on there, I'm sure it'll do a lot better. But uh let me see, let me cut that down a little bit more. Yeah, so something like that, it's more reasonable. 132. And I could probably keep cutting it down. Yeah, so there you go. That, that's that's about that's about reasonable. Uh, about 120, 130 watts or so. That flame and the heat sink. You know, it is heating up. <clears throat> it's getting warm, but uh, it's not heating up anywhere as fast as it was. I mean, and even bring it down to like 110, you know, just by cutting the uh, gate voltage down, you know, make it last even longer. Of course, then it just went out again. So, right about where it was is about right on the edge. And um, you know, running it for that amount of time, it's it's gotten the heat sink warm. Um, so, the way I was running this before, if I was to run it for that at that wattage for that amount of time with no fan on it it would get incredibly high it would get to the point where i wouldn't be able to touch it within probably like i don't know like 30 seconds or something like that so i don't need this large of a fan and you know whereas before i was getting sort of worried about it you know now I, you know it doesn't doesn't seem like a problem at all running it uh you know like 150 watts to where it's not riding on the edge it's actually doing totally fine seems like so that's pretty cool Makes a funny sound. Safety feature.
So yeah, that uh, <clears throat> that runs pretty cool right there with that fan. Um, heat sink is not even warm yet. About 120, 130 watts. It's not bad. But uh, anyway, interestingly enough, that's that's after I've backed the frequency back down a little bit. So you've got that dynamic where at a lower voltage setting, um, I can adjust the pot to get a higher breakout. But once I start to get higher in the voltage, where that you know resonant frequency is going to drop, I'd imagine, then uh, you sort of hit a ceiling on your output until you readjust the capacitor there. So. That basically means that you know the ideal scenario would be is you're tuning this at somewhere around the desired run voltage. Um, so that way, the higher you crank it up, depending on your tuning, you should just get higher output. If I was to bump bump the frequency back up to where it was before at the lower breakout, you know, like over uh, close to close to 10 megahertz, then I'd have to keep increasing the voltage to get that level of breakout again probably closer to 45 50 volts whereas now it only needs about 40 volts yeah that's pretty cool uh, yeah about the same temperature so I like that uh, actually I feel like with that particular setting I don't need this large of a fan it can be a, a little bit smaller actually um, and also you know that means I can I can also pretty sure crank the voltage a lot higher um, I can only get so high with this supply I don't think I can bring it a whole lot higher where it's going to make too big of a difference so I'll bring it all the way to 50 so that's 50 pulling over 150 watts at times but then it starts to kick back a little bit of noise through my line that I can hear in my speakers which I have powered off right now so I don't want to run that for too long like that actually has uh, caused my computer to lock up one time because they're both sharing an outlet I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it at 45 now you know so that's closer to about the 150 peak mark and uh, that's respectable output I think that's pretty good and if that heat sink can uh, manage to you know, maintain a right now you know it's like uh, you know lukewarm I would say if it can maintain that level of uh, cooling you know with a little bit of air blowing on it that's not bad yeah I don't know if you can hear in the background that that noise that's that's my computer speakers see the draw stays under about three amps until I get all the way up into uh, you know 40 volt 45 volt region or so Yeah, pretty cool.